flying with two propellers on each side, high above the actual copter plane, whatever that, it looked like Navy Intel is. Uh, definitely a new piece of gear. It's way off the distance. Uh, at about 12 o'clock, fading to 1 o'clock, if you can see it way out there. Uh, it just passed overhead. It had some kind of sweeping thing that just shut my phone right down. And it, it had to be, I don't know, 1,000, 2,000 yards away before I could even start to put the phone back up since I'm encrypted. Uh, yeah, it's taking a wide spring across the bay. I don't know if you can see it. Uh, should be about 12 o'clock, way, way out there. See, yeah, and that's the max I can go up right now on this zoom. Um, it does seem to be doing a hovering back in the northerly direction. Yeah, it's going back this way, so maybe you'll get a closer look at it as it uh, gets closer. Um, I'm going to unplug the headset so you can hear the actual sound. It's uh, really unique. <coughs> this, by the way, is the 20th military helicopter that has flown over the small region I've been in the Blue Waters Park area in Malibu area uh, in the last, um, this is since, since round on. You're right in the distance. What the hell is this? It's got two big propellers on it. Look at it. When it flips around, there are two propellers on it. Look at that thing. No, it's not Army. It was, I think that said Navy on it. <laughs> or maybe it's Elon Musk. Uh, Elon, we should talk. I did meet with uh, your logistics team in Marina Del Rey. I have met with other people on your team. They keep finding me and talking to me about my involvement with uh, JPL and NASA and Edwards and JFK Canaveral and Houston and the Mars Pathfinder and um, several space shuttle missions including the one that uh, blew up here over um, California all the way to Texas, which I broke the news on that because I saw it happening live above me um, the day that Challenger blew into outer space. Um, God rest their souls. I have had the distinguished honor of working with some of the brightest minds on the planet, not only in government intelligence, is JPL and NASA government? I guess that would be government intelligence too. Or outer space people. Uh, and time travel and um, a, a lot of stuff I can't discuss for national security and other reasons, but at some point I will. Actually, this recording's already done on it and things are already written and they will automatically release once it's their time. It's time I pulled up the sheets on myself and Tell the world who I really am, what I really do. It's been a long road to Venus and back several times. Metaphor. And for those of you who do not understand my dark sense of humor, take a little trip. It's natural and it'll open your mind up. It increases intelligence. If you're on great people, it's an amazing experience. If you're on shitty people, a nightmare beyond your wildest imaginations. It's time we stand up for world peace. It's time we stand up for humanitarian rights, for human rights, for equal, pure air, pure food, pure water, and give it all the bullshit. It's time that the people who make the laws and break the laws have to be held accountable. And not only in the interest of national security for everyone, for global national security or international security, but for the welfare of the 99% from the 1% who would just as soon genocide all of you because you're using up their precious resources. How dare you? You see, we got rid of slavery a long time ago in most countries, unless you're still involved with the human trafficking and sex trading. And, 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 in which case, I'm on a joint terrorist task force on counterintelligence, counterterrorism with U.S. Marshals, Diplomatic Security Services, Protective Intelligence Investigation, State Department, DOJ, FBI, Interpol, and a shit ton of others. Or if you're a criminal with a badge, you're also on our radar because you're breaking the law. You're supposed to be.
protecting and serving. It's time we hold the bitches accountable. Checkmate. Game over. <laughs>